Hello everyone. I want you to imagine something. Let's say your childhood was very bad. Let's say you have been abused, verbally abused, and maybe some other things. So emotionally, you have been hurt badly. And you don't want to feel this pain anymore. The pain that you feel is very, very bad. So inside of your mind, you may say, I have to protect myself. I can't get hurt like this again by someone else. So what are you going to do? Please tell me what would you do? Please tell me in the comment section. Let me tell you some things some people may do. They may become distant. They may be afraid to socialize a lot. They may be afraid to make friends. They may become very rude. Inside of their mind, they may believe like, hey, if I get close to someone, they will have the ability to hurt me so let me be mean, let me be rude, so they can't get near to me. They may have the mindset to attack first before they are attacked. They may begin imagining that you have something against them, even though you have nothing against them. So they may look for ways to sabotage you, to attack you in some type of way. These are some ways. Now, haven't you experienced this by someone that entered in your life? Some people may hurt people because they are hurt. They may hurt you to avoid getting hurt, at least inside of their mind, they may think they need to hurt you to not get hurt. They may take advantage of you because they are more concerned about their needs. Maybe their needs were not taken care of so much when they were younger. So they pretty much in some ways had to look out for themselves. So if that means stealing, scamming, lying, manipulating, they may had to do those things to get what they want. At least that is probably what they felt. Do you understand what I am saying to you? And I am not trying to give any excuse for any bad behavior. Some of your enemies probably have been abused. They probably were not taught right. They probably had bad parents. Parents that may have neglected them. Parents that may have abandoned them. Parents that were probably not there for them emotionally. Once again, I am not trying to give an excuse for bad behavior. Once again, some of your enemies may be very mean, maybe one of the reasons for it. They may believe being mean may protect them. That makes me think of something. If I remember correctly, there is, or there was, at a particular time, there was a dog, a little dog that would, that barked at me. I guess <laughs> trying to intimidate me or something. You know, barking at me as if it was going to do something, I guess. You know, I like some dogs. If I remember correctly, you know, I started smiling at it and started to come near it, you know, maybe to 
pet it or something. And if I am saying this correctly, that dog ran away from me. So I guess that dog was trying to act like it was tough. But as it seems, it was not tough toward me. To me, I guess it tried, in my opinion, I guess it was trying to make me think it is aggressive. But that dog was not aggressive, at least to me. So I would say, I don't know everything about dogs, but I am telling you what I think about what happened. So in my opinion, that dog was acting tough on the outside, but in a sense, weak in the inside toward me. And I believe that is how, in a sense, some of your enemies are. They may seem very tough on the outside, but in the inside, they may be very sensitive. They may cry a lot. They may stay depressed a lot. They may have low self-esteem. They may see themselves as trash, but face to face, they are cussing at you, they are yelling at you, they are showing themselves to be very aggressive. But on the inside, I believe many are very, very weak. I really hope this is making sense. I really do try to be patient with these type of people. I do try to help some of those type of people. We must not avoid those type of people. Even if they give you a hard time, it really depends from case to case. Really depends. I am not telling you to throw yourself into danger. So let me say this, in a general sense, we have to help some people like that. Enemies like that if I can say that. I don't know how to say this, but your enemy may be suffering from bad emotions. They may not know how to get over them. And if you were to try to help them, some may fuss and fight with you, may give you a very, very hard time. But I believe some will listen, perhaps. There are some troubled people that probably want help and may not know how to really change. We have to show the love of Christ. Even if it seems like it is to our disadvantage. Let me stop here. May God bless us.